Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Monday, January 22nd. A large water main break in Norristown has flooded several streets, causing some families to evacuate their homes there. The break happened just before 4 o'clock this morning at the intersection of Penn and Cherry Streets. Crews are out salting and trying to clear the street drains as ice is forming. About 300 properties are now without water because of that break. No word yet as to what caused it or when water will be turned back on. And a preliminary hearing will be held today for Dayron Bernie Thorne, the final person arrested in connection with the deadly ambush outside of Roxborough High School in 2022. He was arrested last year after more than a year on the run. Authorities say Bernie Thorne is one of five people who ambushed 14-year-old Nicholas Elizalde and four others after a football scrimmage. Elizalde was killed in that shooting. And the Eagles reportedly parting ways with defensive coordinator Sean Desai, who was stripped of his play calling duties during the season. Senior defensive assistant Matt Patricia, who took over calling the shots for Desai, is also leaving to pursue other opportunities. Let's talk now about our next weather forecast and quite a week ahead of us, Kate. Big, big changes on the way, Janelle. After a stretch of very cold weather and snow, we're now talking a return to warmth and rain. Let's get right into it. We'll start off with today's forecast. Today, a frigid start to the day, but then a little milder in the afternoon. Not as harsh, at least. We're still slightly below average, but at least back to the upper 30s. And then as we head across the region, again, 37 in the city, 39 at the shore, and 35 with a few more clouds in the Lehigh Valley. And those clouds are coming in courtesy of a system that will be lifting from the Mississippi Valley right into the northeast. A warm front will set up shop to our north tomorrow, but the best chance for rain is not until Wednesday. A couple of showers in the morning, then some steadier rain Wednesday evening, and we'll have more rain Thursday, Friday, and perhaps again on Sunday. The, that rain comes with a big warm up, though. Highs in the 40s, 50s, even 60s. Friday looks like our best chance to be in the 60s with one to two inches of rain throughout that time. It's not a ton of heavy rain, and it's over a long, longer period here, Wednesday through Sunday, but with the melting snow, there may be some ponding or localized flooding that we'll have to be concerned with headed through the seven day forecast. So after sunshine today, we're clouding up tomorrow. It is more seasonable. Wednesday could start with some showers and notice temperatures Wednesday morning close to freezing. So there will be the chance for just a few icy spots. We'll have rain on Thursday and Friday with that surge of warmth. Saturday, a chance to maybe get outside. And then Sunday is colder again with more rain in the forecast. That's your next weather forecast. I'll send it back to you, Janelle. All right. Thank you for that, Kate. And you can always get Kate's up-to-date forecast and the latest stories here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Monday.